Yes. Okay. All right. So why are you excited? Because you're like, yes, I'm excited. I, I am so excited. <laughs> why? Because in this episode, we are going, we're finalizing a couple things. We, we get the bike serviced, we purchase some final gear, but the biggest and most exciting thing is to find out if everything we've purchased and everything we've kind of been hoarding for the last couple months in wait, my wait, closet. Wait, hoarding? Well, you mean yeah. the extra toilet paper and stuff? Yeah. yeah. That stuff you've been bringing? Yes. Okay. Yes. We're going to finally see if it all fits in the trailer. So stay tuned. We're going to go over all the gear that we bought. These bikes. We have a lift. Oh, when you're camping, we, we you need an oven. I literally can bring the kitchen sink. <laughs> Shout out to Daryl and Trika. Yep. From? From a bro man and a squaw on Instagram. Yes. Trika made an Excel spreadsheet for a packing list. And so I took that and I did some of my own personal tweaking. And well, we will link it below if you want to use that. Maybe tweak it to your own purposes. But it, ha it lists everything. All the nitty gritty. We're talking about a sewing kit and a needle and you went down binders. That, and you went down that fine, I, did you? I did. Because she, it did, has, I, did we mention that she's an accountant? Because it has boxes next to each one. So as I was preparing or packing each one or setting it aside, I could check it off. And then I don't have to think about it again. So, yeah. So, All right. stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy seeing how much stuff Chris can cram into a 21 cubic well, foot trailer. Well, you, well, you know we, we made it here. Yes. So, whatever didn't make it, <laughs> <laughs> that's really the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See ya. Here we are at the... Uh, toy store as I like to call it. American Eagle. Always gotten really good service from these guys. I'm here getting my my bike serviced. Getting a 55,000 mile service on it. Getting prepared for our next adventure. Alright, here we are. Cycle Center. Getting Chris's bike. Gonna get it uh, ready for the road trip. So what are we doing? We are at Cabela's. Thinking of buying a boat? No. No. No? No, we're not becoming boat people. Been there, done that. Been there, been there, done that. Been the boat people before. Yeah. Now we're the motorcycle people. <laughs> we're at Cabela's. And yes. We, yes, what? We're going to, we're at Cabela's. <laughs> yes. We have, we have a list. Hold on. Let me find it. Do you keep lists? I have a list. Chris does lists. I do. <laughs> I'm excited. We're going to go in here and find a lot. So we can't bring... Well, when you're camping, we, we you need an oven. We can't bring the kitchen sink, wait, but we could bring wait, a wait, stove. If you want to, if you want to camp <laughs> and do a cake, <laughs> somebody's birthday. <laughs> Look, Richie, you literally can't. I literally can bring the kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted that. That's it. That's great. <laughs> Who's this? Whose is this one? If it's silver, it's mine. So it is the um, showy. Which one do we have? The Neo, the Neotech, I believe it's called. It's been a long time since I've had a new helmet. Okay, I gotta smell it. Whoa. Okay, helmet, new helmet stink. <laughs> no, it's a good smell. Yep, so it's the Shoei Neotech 2 that we have. Modular helmet. One thing I liked about the Shoei's was the chin strap. The thing I noticed about the chin strap is that it's a quick release, as we have here. I can't see it. It's quick release on this, okay? But it's also metal. This this piece here is metal, which the other ones we looked at had plastic. Mm -hmm. So these are, and the, this doesn't engage, It this doesn't disengage until you fully open it. So you have to fully open this 
to get this to disengage because it won't just go when you you have to fully open it to get it loose mm -hmm. which i liked i thought that was pretty good mm -hmm. here it is my new helmet Ooh, wow. does it make my hair look good i'm going to show you what i have in my bag that i'm taking clothes wise okay i've got an extra pair of uh, fireman shorts from duluth i've got six pairs of socks, I've got five shirts, I've got a, a warm pullover shirt, I've got some t-shirts, another a couple of long sleeve shirts that I have, I have a pair of shorts, a bathing suit, and my towel. Oh and there's also some underwear. So that's what I had that's what I've reduced down to along with the clothes that I'm wearing. Uh, will all fit in that bag and dedicate one saddlebag for my clothes. All right. So, you saw how easy it was for me to do that. We'll wonder how easy it is for Chris. <laughs> Piece of cake. I need more clothes. <laughs> all right, real quick. Did you hear that? <laughs> she said she needs more clothes. <laughs> okay, real quick. I brought two pairs of shorts. I've got two long sleeve shirts that uh, can go under t-shirts. I'll be bringing six t-shirts, I think. I might reduce it down to four. I've got an extra pair of jeans. I'll have my riding jeans on. Uh, I have a long shirt. Um, I have a wool long shirt for if it gets cold. Bathing suit, flip flops, and comfy pants for sitting around the fire. Here we go. I hope it all fits. Okay, after all that, we're gonna pack up the trailer. I'll show you exactly what we have that's going inside this, and then we'll go over to the motorcycle and I'll show you what's in there also. Okay, let's talk about what we're bringing in the trailer. What's gonna be packed in the trailer? I packed this a few times and I kind of got an idea of how it is and what I want to do is I want to pack the things that I need last are going to go in first. So we'll just go over everything that we have first. First is our new house. This is a Kingdom 6 REI tent. So nice tent, you'll see what we have on that. I have a couple of of tarps. One's a large tarp to be underneath and then another one uh, we have just in case we're stuck with lots and lots of rain and we need to you know shelter shelter down and shelter in place for that. Um, also got a hatchet. Got a hatchet we're gonna use. This is a, a little compact shovel that we got. A little compact shovel in case we need to dig a trench or whatnot. This is just some miscellaneous stuff that I have in here. So I got an extra strap and, and some other things. We've got a Coleman two burner stove, uh, a couple bottles of propane. One's a little empty, the other one's full. This is a battery pack that we got from uh, Keep Your Daydream off of their affiliate site. Thank you, Mark. Um, I also have a solar panel that that will charge this this up also um, in this little container here we have a fold uh, table that folds out little uh, short table these two here are some helinox cots they're very lightweight uh real durable haven't really got on them yet because we've been sheltered in place here this is a couple of hiking sticks that we have when we go hiking these two here are two high back uh, chairs real nice nice little chairs that we have in this bag right here I've got lights I've got some LED lights I've got a couple of other lights that we can hang inside the tent got some bug spray some dry uh, wet matches and whatnot in here in this old compression sack this old compression sack it's kind of special to Chris and I We've used this for more than 30 years. We took this on our very first trip back in 1989. 
and it's still good. This has two Coleman sleeping bags in it. Then we have a couple of air mattresses uh, from REI, the, the, little, the little air mattresses to fit on top of the uh, Helinox cots. We've also got a first aid kit, um, just some basic first aid stuff that, that we have in there. Nothing too fancy, eye wash, some patches, and uh, you know, some good, good gauze and things. We have some wipes, some- Just some, cause. Just cause, you gotta, gotta keep your baby butt wiped. Also some sanitation wipes for you know, like in the mornings or whatnot. In here, there's two pillows that we have um, these pillows actually, they, when they decompress, they're good sized pillows. They're really nice actually. And then we have, um, a little solar shower, um, to keep warm in. And then over here, this is that solar panel that we have. It is a hundred watt solar panel that will charge up that battery pack I showed you. So this folds out in four ways. And it's a 100 watt solar panel, so we can have some extra power, um, extra power when we when we are camped and can run the computers. We did a video where I made this uh, better than a Yeti. <laughs> Seems to be better than a Yeti, anyways. But we're what we decided to use this for, since it's so insulated and it doesn't do really the best with ice. Is we're making this our dry box, so. Anything we want to keep dry and anything, any dry foods like breads and um, stuff like that, that we can carry with it. All right, and this saddlebag, and this saddlebag on this side here, I just wanna go over what I'm taking, what we're taking. This, this is a, this is a meter. I got a little meter, I'm a technician by trade, so I want a meter. This is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that I have in here, stuff that, I hopefully will never need. It's just some nuts and bolts and um, odd size Allen wrenches, jumper wires, just a bunch of weird stuff that I'm putting in here. This here is uh, the meter, I told you. This is a regular quarter inch drive socket set that you always need to have. This is a air pump. I've used this a few times and I gotta say so far, it is dynamite. I mean, it is awesome. This little tiny air pump here filled up a 80 pound trailer tire on the on a friend's trailer. So it does its job. It does really well. I'm sure I'll be doing a review on it at some point, but it does really well. And then this is tools. I've got nuts, I've got a, sockets screwdrivers wrenches uh, torx bits and stuff like that and my theory is as if if i bring it i won't need it some extra uh rubber gloves and whatnot then i've got i've got a hat and you know some some of my personal stuff in here we have um this uh per permethrin and we'll be using this when we get up into the uh, more climates that have more ticks and and uh, bugs that we need to keep off of us Okay, so that's that and I carry miscellaneous stuff in here, too. I got my ex extra glasses hot hands warmer Some some warm gloves These are some extra rags that have hit the ground. I don't want to use them for glasses But it's great to clean the top and then I've got a couple of pieces here for the uh, GoPros to hold on and then this is some miscellaneous GoPro stuff all of that will fit in here All right, on the back of this, shout out to Chip Parisi again for me seeing this on Gloria. Let me tell you, this is great. These are some large poles that I have on uh, for the canopy that goes on the front of the tent. And then these are extra stakes that we have that fit inside here. What this is, I've got, you see this little, little uh, screw that I've got, a little thumb screw I've got in here. So I got that on there because I can't tighten this up all the way because it's I need the room for this for the 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 tent poles for the poles so I put this in here and I gave a little notch for it to hold it in place and I got it on both sides so it'll hold it in place for it and then I've got some extra an extra little bit of oil why would I carry oil on the true like this because it says Harley Davidson on it and they tend to burn a little oil especially when they've got 60,000 miles on them 
but it runs really well, really well. All right, now let's talk about this, the trunk or the, the pantry we call, the pantry and, and storage. What we have in here is some extra cans, some canned goods, um, you know, stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated and spices. We've got a little dust pan in here, hot pad. These are some uh, sterilization. So if we need to, when we're rinsing off the dishes, making our, our dishes, if we are kind of concerned that maybe it's not potable water, we'll have something to sanitize the water. We've also got a cast iron skillet because that's cast iron. I'd prefer to cook with cast iron. A little cutting board, a couple plates, pots, pans, silverware, bowls. In here, we have spices, some spices, knife, cooking utensils, another small cutting board, a little cheese grater, um, some large cooking utensils, a spatula and that kind of stuff. That and a large spoon, that's what we can take with us, okay? And then here we have the kitchen sink. Nice, nice tub to be able to rinse rinse dishes and wash dishes and stuff for us okay that's what we have in the trunk all right let's go over here in this compartment i've got some extra uh power power sources and a little bluetooth thing for my my radio if i want to listen off to the stereo in the evenings okay but extra power sources and this I have some neck warmers, the, some face shields. I have a couple of face shields. I've got a really, really bright flashlight that's in here, that's in this container. All right. Come over to this side. And this side is where I keep some head beers and my, my gloves, some writing gloves that I got in here. And then in here, since we're in a pandemic, I've got a fishing reel so I can fend for ourselves. And we have some extra sandwich bags, little cheap ones that I can grab. I can grab the gas pump and not worry about this COVID stuff. And this saddlebag is my rain gear and all of my clothes. That's what goes in here. That's the only thing that goes in there. So what you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm packing up my bike. Awesome. <laughs> if you watch our gear video, you'll find out exactly how many clothes that we brought. And it might have even been too much. I still might be having to do some downsizing, but this is where I keep my clothes. I think I did pretty good considering the, the size of my closet that I started with in the downsizing process. I really think I did pretty darn good getting all my clothes into one saddlebag. <laughs> and then... That's pretty good for any woman to get downsized that good. <laughs> yes. And unfortunately, I already have one. I'm confessing. I have one ditty bag, that small ditty bag with shampoo and stuff in there. And this is... But that's both of ours, too. Yes. And yeah. it's vitamins and who knows what else I've got in here. But that's what goes in here. The other thing I have in here is some aqua socks for when we take showers, my rain pants, and my lightweight jacket for when it gets really, really hot. my tail bag the, right now the only thing we have in it that's big and bulky is our bajas for when we run into cold weather last july it was so cold when we were up north and we picked these up and i'm really kind of hesitant to get rid of them because when you're around camp or you're getting up first thing in the morning out of a tent you know the quickest way to end a trip is if you're really uncomfortable and so we don't want to be uncomfortable so the other nice thing about this tank bag is it's got side pockets that are pretty darn deep. And this side pocket has all of our tour of honor um, flags for when we go and visit national monuments around the state, honoring the people who served in our military. We're really, it was supposed to start April 1st and y'all know how that went. The other side of this pouch is just got my, uh, some thick gloves and a neck warmer. I think that's it. And then I have my Nelson Rig tank bag, which basically carries a lot of just little female stuff, you know, with the, the, the lotion and sunblock 
and it's got a place for my water bottle and the phone and just miscellaneous charging cords. Um, I can also charge my phone when we're going down the road. I can charge my helmet. So I really do like this. The only th thing I have on my bike is a little glove box over here where I keep my gloves, my do-rag for my head and some a cleaning rag for my glasses. That's it for my bike. Okay, let's get back into what we're actually bringing in, in Bertha and going through this uh, accessory that Bush Tech has. So this is a mount that, that snaps to the top and it's it's got two small compartments in here. I've got some extra gloves for if I have to work on something. Also got some, uh, some more vinyl gloves. All right, and in, in here, I've got this air pump this air pump is for the Bush Tech trailer, and you have to keep the air and the air shocks to where the wheels are, are straight. The wheels need to be straight like this, not bent out, camber or caster, or cambered or caster, okay? You want them straight so they wear evenly and the, the trailer rides, rides well. Um, I've got some extra, uh, extra um, Multi-purpose towels, some microfiber towels. I've got a, uh, I've got a headlamp in here, and a little headlamp, earplugs in case we need some earplugs. Okay. In this, in this pouch, I got some fire starting stuff here. I got a tire plug kit for Chris's bike, since my bike is got tubes. I got, so I'll have to get some fix up flat. Got a couple of spare lighters. We need to light a campfire and then things in that. And then in this pouch here, you see this pouch here, I've got, we've got some games. We've got a little uh, rack of dominoes and some, um, some playing cards. And I've got a little bit of very good synthetic oil that I use to oil the suspension in what on the bush tank. That's it. Fits. Everything fits. I said I think we're done. <laughs>